Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's short video I would like to try and test this ultrasonic distance sensor with analog outputs. It's the first time for me to have to deal with such thing, so let's explore it together. The sensor features both 0 to 10 volt DC and 4 to 20 milliamp analog signals. When it comes to electronics, analog means a smoothly changing electrical value, sort of step-free variating. I am going to power it up using grossly oversized for this application power supply from a really old Apple device, which is no more. Somewhere there is a little tiny wire that was probably used for communication between apples, which we are not going to concern ourselves with right now. Neither will we need this thing. The blue tap wire connected to zero volt is going to be our common signal wire to reference our measurements to. When powered up, the sensor makes rapidly clicking sound. Each click is actually a burst of ultrasound frequency concentrated into a narrow directed beam emitted by the sensor. These pulses reflect off of objects in front of the sensor and fly right back. Time that it takes for the signal to come back is directly proportional to the distance to the object and converted by sensor's electronics into an analog signal outputted through signal wires. First, I am going to test the white wire which outputs 0 to 10 volt DC analog signal, making sure that proper range of the multimeter as well as probe clamps are selected, we connect black probe to our common wire and the red probe to our signal wire. Instantly, we get the out of range reading displayed. As we move the object closer in and out, the signal value changes smoothly except for those moments when the beam is not reflected straight back into the sensor due to angle of the object's surface or surface imperfections, which become bigger issue at closer ranges. I found the use of 4 to 20 milliamp signal strikingly simple. Honestly, I was expecting to have to use a separate external power source connected in circuit of signal wire and multimeter somehow. Instead, it is just as simple as switching probe clamps and the range for milliamps measurement. Connect, that's it. Same concept of distance to signal relation applies here. The sensor has two potentiometers built in. These are called span adjustment. After playing with them for a little bit, I found that one controls the far end distance and the other one is for the close end. By adjusting these pots, I can sort of squeeze the sensor's distance measuring range, thus increasing the sensitivity of the sensor within that detectable range. In other words, smaller change in distance will lead to greater change in signal. One of the reasons why I would want that is to increase resolution of the signal, especially if converting it to digital. Well, 
This is about it for this video. Please subscribe, like and share. Please also consider supporting this channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.